Hi all, Planet Side Agent here. Uh, today I thought I'd uh, take a look at another uh, little stove I bought off eBay. I got a thing about stoves. Uh, anyway, this is a, uh, they call it a titanium alloy. Uh, they reference a BRS 3000T. I don't know if that's a, the same company or not. I know BRS is a brand of a popular uh, lightweight stove. So. Anyway, I picked this one up. I say on eBay it was seven dollars and thirty-five cents, and uh, with free shipping. So I mean, you just can't go wrong. So yeah, I thought I'd uh, just take it out and fire it up and see how it goes. Uh, it came in uh, this uh, little plastic case, uh, which is kind of <laughs> which is kind of interesting. It's got kind of a, a screw. And uh, it's a real, it's a real soft, uh, cheap plastic. But I mean, it does the job of protecting the stove. Uh, just I'll, I'll give you the weight on it first with the stove. And uh, wait for it to come back to life here. Okay, the whole thing comes out to uh, 1.8 ounces. I'll put the grams uh, in the description because I can't. This. Uh, scale only does ounces it doesn't do both unfortunately so and uh, the stove by itself without the uh, the little case is uh, 1.4 ounces so uh, nice and light Oops. make sure I keep this <laughs> center in the, in the viewfinder here this to side so uh, there we go it uh, it's got the little wings come up I have another one of these uh, I think I paid around 10 bucks for it so they come down I think this says it's titanium alloy so I don't think it's all totally titanium because most titanium stuff you know tends to be kind of that uh, dark gray color but uh, I mean 1.4 ounces it's pretty good so anyway I thought I'd go ahead and uh, actually fire it up today see how it works uh, I guess I haven't done anything with it yet oops forgot to close the valve yeah they say it's best to uh, on these stoves when you store them don't don't uh, store it completely turned off because then that kind of presses the, uh, the the rubber seal in and and, and kind of leaves it formed. So you probably should uh, before you store it just back it off. But then you got to remember to close it off or you're going to get <laughs> fuel leakage when you uh, put it on. So anyway, there we go. So this doesn't have a striker, so you got to use a match or a lighter. So let's. Uh, I'll show you that it's yeah you know, the burner's a little bit different than a lot of them. It doesn't have the the little mesh type screen. It's just these little holes here. So it'll be interesting to see how these look. Let's see. If we should get this where we can see it. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. With uh, I use my iPhone as my my camera, and I have it up on a tripod here. But where I'm standing to to make sure that everything's in frame, I have to poke my head around the corner here every so often. <laughs> it's kind of awkward, I miss. I guess I could buy more expensive professional grade equipment, but you know, like I say in my description, uh, I'm not not in this for the money, so I'm not going to pour a whole lot of money into this because I don't know how long I'll be doing this. Just kind of my latest hobby. Let's fire this baby up. Big old yellow flame there. I don't know how well it's going to run. This is I'm out here in the garage and it's uh, about 50 degrees. This canister's been out here all night, so but you know it's real it's more like a real world summer camp camping trip. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and put two cups of water on and uh, see about how long it takes to uh, 
to boil. Now, uh, let's get this a little closer. How's that look? Yeah. Uh, it's hard just going to get some bubbles. Uh, I'm not going to put a lid on this, so they mean the boil times. Well, I'm not going to time it anyway. I don't have a timer. I guess I could go get my watch, but I'll just look at the clock on the wall here. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, 54, so just kind of close. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll take the camera down and let you look at the flame. out on the bottom of the pot really well. There you go. Should have warned you to close your eyes while I move the camera so you don't get seasick. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's starting to get little bubbles in the bottom of the water, so it is putting heat to it. So I'll go ahead and uh, turn the camera off here for a while. It'll bore you with uh, watching the water boil. Okay, back for another comment. One thing I have noticed about this style stove with the way those uh, wings spread out, bring you back down here again, um, is they have, make for a really wide pot, you know, wide base. So, uh, you know, smaller pots, I'm wondering like the uh, 700 millimeter, 600 millimeter type uh, pots are going to be a little wobbly on here. Now this one, this Ollie Camp one has a rounded bottom and I was kind of adjusting a little bit and wanted to slip off. So uh, that's uh, that's kind of scary. So that's probably the only one of the bad things about these this type of uh, wing stove. The uh, you can't put a very small pot on here and have it, have it stable. Okay, looks like it's been about uh, four minutes, and uh, you can see we got a boil going here. So, uh, yeah, cranks out the heat. I'm not going to trust this. Yeah. It's a little, like I said, it's a little on the wobbly side here. But it def definitely works. It will. Uh, Cranks out the heat and you know four minutes for two cups of water. That's pretty good um, I think what I'm going to do here uh, like I said this Ollie camp Pots got kind of rounded bottoms and it tended to be a little slippery because we're just barely catching the very inside part of this the the pot stand on this so uh, I think I'm gonna go grab one of my titanium pots and uh, see how that Sets on here, so I'll be back in a sec Okay, I'm back I grabbed a couple of uh, other pots here to see how they fit. I grabbed the, uh, I got the uh, the Stanley uh, cook kit, which has a pretty narrow base uh, for pots. See how that, that fits on there. Yeah, just, yeah, not not very well. You can, we can see if we can get it in here to see. You can see that, uh, I mean, it, this thing is just going to be right on the very edge of the the width. I wouldn't definitely wouldn't recommend using this I mean it'll sit up there but you gotta be careful. Yeah I guess you can get it there. Just gotta be you gotta be real careful with it and especially if you're trying to you know stir a meal or something up inside it, it could could slip and roll off. So I probably wouldn't recommend it unless you like to live on the edge, which I wouldn't recommend that, but it's up to you. Anyway here's uh one of the titanium pots that I have. I think I showed this cook set earlier. And uh, we'll see how this one works on there. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah. This this particular pot here, uh, let's see. You can see that, yeah, it, uh, yeah, it, it's, it, it'll sit on there really well. So that's very stable, so. So I guess uh, for this style pot, with pot, yeah, it'd be uh, no problem at all. It's going to be very stable. So, 
yeah, this uh, this particular. Now it's funny the the Ollie Camp is actually uh, the uh, the same diameter as the uh, this is a titanium 750 milliliter titanium. Uh, it's uh, it, this isn't a Tox, but it's very similar to it. And uh, you can see that that lid actually fits on here. But the design of, of the Ollie Camp, the the bottom kind of rounds in, so it's not real stable on this particular stove. But as you saw on uh, this guy here, it wouldn't be a problem. So I would recommend any pot smaller than this, but most of the time you're not going to have a pot smaller than this anyway. I don't. But uh, so in that case, this will work just fine. In fact, yeah, and this this is that the kit that I was uh, I showed before. I have a similar stove to this one. And it came in a little little cloth bag. I'm trying to remember what the burner looked like on this one. Let's look at it again. Get off of there. Yeah, the burner on that uh, is a little bit different. And uh, this one uh, looks like it's got a little bit of brass in there. The uh, Let's see, I'll just do a comparison while I'm sitting here just for my own curiosity, although I've had this out before. Let's see, come on. Oops, this way, this way, this way. Now, this one, I like this one. As you can see, it has uh, much, much, much broader on the pot stand than, uh, than this one does. Kind of. Do a comparison. So I guess you have to look closely at these. There's probably different, many different manufacturers, but uh, this one has a much wider uh, pot stand. So I think I prefer this one. Let me pick this up. Yeah, yeah, this would be no problem with uh, with this Ollie Camp, or I imagine it wouldn't be any problem with this one either. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. This this particular stove. Yeah, you could use the Stanley. So. Yeah, I think, like I said, I probably paid about ten bucks for this one and seven thirty-five. So I guess you could say you get what you pay for. But uh, I mean, they're both very similar, but just the the way the the pot stand design is is better on this particular one. You get a much better base. So just curious. Let's see what the weight on this guy is. One point six, and I believe this one was one point. Four, so you got two tenths of a um, ounce heavier, but uh, but that's well. If you look, <laughs> that's probably in this little bit of extra metal. If you look at the two, the pot stand. See this one, the pot stand actually has quite a bit more metal. So that's probably the the weight difference, but but I would uh, you know for use, I'd recommend this one. Like I said, this one didn't have a brand on it either that I remember. I've had it for a little while, but I've seen several of different uh, these inexpensive small stoves on uh, on eBay because you just have to kind of eyeball it to see if if it looks like the uh, the pot stand is going to be wide enough for you. But I, you know, even though this one was cheap, you know, I mean, you could use it if you had larger pots like for this, it, no problem. But if you got if you wanted to use a narrower base pot like the Stanley. Then you definitely would not you want to get this one. So, but uh, yeah, I'd say this is probably the the better quality of the two stoves. But like I said, for seven thirty five, it's pretty hard to go wrong. As far as longevity and use, uh, no idea. Since <laughs> I'll probably just throw these in my collection. I doubt if I'll ever use them. So, but uh, let's see. I don't think anything any else uh, I wanted to say about this. No, I guess that's it. So I guess the this the thing to remember is when you're shopping for these, if you're going to get one, you might like I say just take a look at the pot stand design because it, this one's going to be stable no matter what pot, much stabler no matter what pot you use, even a larger pot. So and also it's got more teeth. The more teeth there are, that you know the more it's going to grab. So it's not going to want to slide around. This is going to be a lot a lot grippier and. For some of you, which a uh, little editorial here, <laughs> I've watched a few videos of guys using 
stoves in the field and I don't know they must have a crooked eye because I see them uh, they'll have their stove on a on on uneven ground I'm going you know how much how much trouble is it is to you know <laughs> level the ground out or level the stove out so it doesn't tip because like you get one of these where the the pots stand isn't that grippy you know your meal could just uh, go sliding off and cause all kinds of problems so just uh, when you're using your stove level it out it's not that hard it doesn't cost anything it takes some time to to think <laughs> about what you're doing so and be careful around your stoves uh, so so much for the uh, mom's advice and uh, I guess that's it I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll uh, see you next time bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.